Rex will always go for the things you care about most. So my whole life is up for grabs until this guy gets what he wants? That's the way it was for me. Hey, well, I'm not you, all right? And we don't even know what he wants. I'm so sorry that I ever dragged you into any of this. I was thinking maybe I should just, maybe I should just run away. Yeah, where? I don't know. Huh? We already went through this. You run, Scott Baldwin, his daughter, and my parents. Rex will take them all down. Yeah, well, I just thought... Maybe you should have thought before, huh? When you met him. Were you too busy conning me by then? The elevator's still making you nervous. As long as you just keep right on moving, we're good. You know, whatever is up with Jake and Danielle, they're obviously about to break under the pressure. Really? Do you think they actually could crack? I don't know. But I don't know what that means to us. Of course, we could be reading all this wrong. Or not. Doc, Danielle isn't wearing her engagement ring. That means something is definitely wrong. I don't think it's too late. When I met Rex, I believed what he said. I just didn't understand. It can't be too late. Oh, come on. All right, we'll figure something out. I just got to make sure that my folks are safe. I'm pretty sure Rex hasn't reported them to immigration as long as we do what he says. Look, I am sick of this. What does this guy want? All I know is kidnapping Serena was just the beginning, and now, now all he wants is your help. Why? What could I possibly have that Rex wants? Are you back again? I can't concentrate with you whining all the time. I always run a strand of pheasant crest through a Cahill dry fly. Dr. Boardman, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was you. You fish? Uh, sure, sure. My dad made a ritual out of it every summer. Trout are attracted to phosphorescence. Caught five last weekend. Threw two back. Really? Uh, you know, I was observing today during your laminectomy. It was really stellar work. I'd be lucky to command that kind of respect in an OR. Luck has nothing to do with it. But you have to have the right attitude. It's Ramsey, right? Yes, sir. Chris Ramsey. Keep practicing, Chris. And focus. Distractions will kill you. Successful surgeons take a stand for excellence in everything that they do. You gotta love it. Breathe it. Live it. I plan to. So I guess we have an understanding. Hands off from dear old Dan. I'd appreciate it. Fine. Are you ready for a light supper? I hear the Port Charles Grill is wonderful. I had other plans. Uh, I was presumptuous enough to make reservations. Maybe I should have consulted with the mysterious Dr. Morris. If I'd known you were coming... Uh... Well, come on, Jules. I'm only here for a day or two. I mean, call him up and cancel. This place does have phone service, doesn't it? It's a very good friend of mine. Uh, a fellow intern. Maybe she'd like to join us. It's a he, and his summer baseball team is playing the championship tonight. I promised I'd come. You're turning me down for, for a baseball game? Uh, hot dogs and ten-year-olds instead of a gourmet dinner with your old man? Daddy, I'm sorry. I can't. Well, is this another show of independence? Because it isn't necessary, honey. Dad. Okay. Okay, I guess I've made a real mistake here. I just wanted to spend some time with my daughter. You know, darling, you may do whatever you wish. I promised, Frank. I don't want to break my word. Come on, I know you understand. Well, I guess if there's anything I hope you learned from me, it was integrity. <laughs> Can I at least tempt you with a room service breakfast before rounds? Two mushu pork coming up. Jill? Well, Lee was working late, and I knew you were on call, so I just took a chance that you were here and that you liked Chinese. Are you worried about me? 
Yeah, a little. <laughs> Did you um, hear anything since... From... From Jagger? No. Not a word. Well, I mean, he must know that this woman, this... Chippy slut bimbo? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, he must know that she told you that she was having an affair with him. Yeah, he must know. Karen, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm in this hellish sort of limbo, you know? This is good. Thank you. Mm. You just must be so angry. Yeah. I am. You know, I have this marriage, but it doesn't mean anything. I have these empty vows. Well, and some feelings for Joe Scanlon. Please, Gail, don't make me sorry that I told you about all that. I feel like such an idiot that I kept telling myself all I had was, you know, feelings of friendship for him when I knew deep down in my heart it was something more. Well, you know, we all try to hide our feelings from ourselves sometimes. But Joe knew. He knew what I was feeling even though I wasn't able to admit it. Which is why, until I get this whole thing figured out with Jagger, I am going to stay away from Joe. Well, it was a brilliant idea to have the kids wait outside with their folks. Yeah, what tipped you off? They're playing catch with the salt and pepper or the tag behind the bar? As long as Mike was cool with it. Yeah, sure he was. Did you see the way he ran out of here? Like he and Mom might not find seats in the bleachers. What are you looking for? Julie, she should be here by now. Maybe she got called in for an emergency. Right. I think you should just chill, okay? Mike and Mom invited everybody back here for a victory celebration. Yeah, assuming we win. Oh, you're in in that department. Ma has got a novena into St. Anthony. <laughs> Finder of lost home runs. Now I think the intention was wipe the field with the other players. Ah, uh, fine Christian thought. Well, in addition to the one she's got in for you and Julie, I'm surprised she doesn't have arthritis in the knees. Well, she may be able to let up soon. I think her prayers are finally being answered. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. Don't be silly, let me help you. Low-fat refried beans, yum. Julie, I'll just go crash at the hospital. Eve, <laughs> that won't be necessary. Eve... I'd like you to meet my father, Dr. Bennett Devlin. Your father? Uh-huh. Dad, this is my roommate, Eve Lambert. Pleased to meet you, Miss Lambert. Dr. Lambert. Ha, I stand correct. She interns at GH with me. And you guys share these palatial digs. Huh? You missed one. Thank you. So you aren't, uh, going by your real name? Dad is a surgeon. Uh, a lot of people have heard of him, and Oh, I... right, right. That Bennett Devlin. I didn't want to seem to be cashing in on his name. Uh, I'm sorry, Eve. But you would have cruised right through this year if they knew who you were. My daughter has a very strong ethical streak. I just wanted to prove I could do it on my own. I can understand that. See? You women, you always do it the hard way. Well, some girls like it hard. Dr. Devlin, I... I've heard so much about you, I feel like I know you already. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you keep what you know to yourself. I mean, we don't want to make things awkward for Julie, do we? Oh, all my friends in med school know the details of your medical career. Which is why I thought I should be Julie Morris, not Julie Devlin. Oh, well, I sure bought it. I'll tell you something. When I walked in here and saw the two of you together, well, Julie... I thought you were robbing the rocking chair. Uh, let's make this very clear. This is my father. The only woman in his life is my mother. Right. My mistake. No offense? No offense taken. So, Dr. Devlin, who are you do... Excuse me. What are you doing in town? Uh, just checking, making sure my little princess is okay. You are okay, aren't you? Princess? That, of course, I am. He's so cute when he's overprotective. Oh, I agree. Cute as a button. If you guys are trying to embarrass me, it's working. We're not trying mm -hmm. to embarrass you. No, absolutely not. It is so great to meet a real family man. <laughs> the kids are cool. Boss will be here. Everything's fine, okay? <sighs> right. Hey, thanks for covering third base for me, man. I know you've been busy. Yeah, well, it was a little, little hectic when Karen was gone, that's all. Uh, yeah, how did her uh, big reunion go? I wouldn't know. You haven't spoken to her? Yeah, but she didn't tell you what happened and you didn't ask. She's married, Frank. Which means you can't possibly have feelings for her? 
doesn't make them right. According to me. Look, I can't help the way I feel. I can only help what I do about it. Well, you told me you thought the marriage was in trouble. You're right. I did. You know what? That's none of my business. So, uh, you think this trip to San Francisco fixed things? Well, I'm getting the signals loud and clear. Hands off, stay back, posted property. I'm sorry, man. You know, when I first saw her again, it's like I had this voice inside my head saying, there she is. Look no further. She's the one. My problem was she had the same voice. Her husband. Well, I was referring to someone else. Her husband. Just hope he knows how lucky he is. Sometimes I wonder if I was looking to Joe to fill when I missed with Jagger. So you met Joe first, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you think about him back then? Well, I, uh... I thought he was the best stickball player I had ever seen for a ten-year-old. No, you mean you met him when you were ten? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but um, then he went to St. Ed's and I went to public school, so we never saw much of each other after that. And then you met Jagger. Jagger and I were... We were so much in love. <laughs> and I went through hell to be with him. All that work could not have been for nothing. Well, no, of course it wasn't. Look at you. I mean, you're strong, and you're together. And you're living in the present, you're not in the past. Yeah, but my marriage, it's like it doesn't exist anymore. It's like... It's like it died when Jagger's brother died. And sometimes I think that he doesn't even care whether he lives or dies. Why do you say that? One night, I was in the ER, and uh, it was my last year at med school. And this gunshot victim comes in, and it's a male. He's soaked in blood. So the team goes to work on him, and I just do what I'm told. It took me at least two full minutes to realize that it was Jagger. Oh, my God, how awful for you. I went... Weak in the knees. And the attending looked at me and he said, what the hell is the matter with you? And, uh... I could barely get out that that was my husband. So they sent me out of the room and, um... They sent him upstairs for surgery and I kept badgering all the nurses for information and I kept looking at his charts over and over and over again. And, and I prayed and went down to the chapel. And I got down on my knees and I prayed to God. I said, please, God, please save him. And I stayed there for hours. But he pulled through. <laughs> and as soon as I could, I confronted him. And I said, I don't know, maybe I came on too strong, but I said, Jagger, I want you to look. I want you to really look at what you're doing to yourself, what you're doing to me and to us. And I asked him to consider leaving the force or at least to take on some other kind of assignment. And he said? No. He said no way. He was too close to capturing some kind of drug lord or something. And that as soon as that was done, he would think about it. Sound like you didn't believe him. Well, I have been a cop's wife long enough to know that whoever this guy is or was, there'd be someone just like him waiting in the wings, you know, and Jagger would be there again saying, until this guy is out of the way, you just keep happening again. And after that, I got this internship here in Port Charles. It was wrong of Lee to arrange that for you without even discussing it with you. Yeah, and at first I was really angry, but... <sighs> now I think he did me a favor. I was so hurt, and I was so angry and scared. <sighs> I guess I thought that if I came here, maybe Jagger would follow me. But it didn't happen that way. No. 
Not even close. And now I have to find out the truth, one way or another. <laughs>